to my dear students. So, some of you missed out on your A's or B's. This letter is for you. If today you are feeling a little disappointed with yourself or worried about having disappointed the people you love, I want you to know this. Have faith that life will unveil for you your strengths and talents. I know because I have seen it in you. You may seem unfocused in class, but you never miss a goal on the soccer field. You may be fidgety during classwork, but you bake the best cakes with such dedication. Your high energy may get in the way of homework, but it is perfect for galvanizing the class for competitions. There are so many talents that are not captured by your grades. I saw how you drew the most beautiful design for our class t-shirt. I saw how you mentored the new boy who just transferred to our school. I saw how you noticed I was tired in class one day and asked me whether I was okay. Life is much more than just being known as the student who got A's. I know because I was a student like you, an average student with low self-esteem. I was surrounded by really smart friends and I always felt that I had to work so hard to keep up with them and do my mom proud. There was this one math exam where I scored the lowest marks in class. I had worked so hard but my forte was just not in math. I was embarrassed as my friends compared results and I just kept silent. I remember telling myself, just pretend that it doesn't faze you and smile. This was a normal occurrence for me throughout my secondary school years. It was difficult. Then, in Sec 4, I was appointed a class monitress and a band leader in my CCA. I was shocked. I thought, I'm so average, why would they choose me? My form teacher told me that I was voted in by my peers. Both my teachers and my peers saw something in me that I did not see in myself. And I loved my new roles in school. I was no longer the invisible student who was not as smart as the other students. I discovered that I had strengths. My organizational abilities, connecting with people, leading with fairness. Most importantly, I learned how to empathize. I realized I wanted to bring out the best in people, hence my decision to be a teacher. I want you to find that strength in you. Know that what is defined as success to one might be different to another. Find that definition of success for yourself. Be the best version of yourself. You are more than just your grades. And the people who love you, know and value you for who you are. I'm always rooting for each and every one of you. All the best, my dearest students.